Today I'm switching it up a little bit and showing you two pieces of eyewear I've picked up. If you know anything about me, I rarely ever change my glasses. I've had probably four pairs throughout my entire life, but I was overdue for an upgrade, so I figured this is the first time I'll invest in a nice frame for myself. And I also picked up some sunglasses, so I'll be showcasing that as well. So the first pair we have here is a pair of Oliver Peoples Finley Vintage Frames. As I said earlier, I rarely ever change my glasses and I thought I'd invest in a nice regular black acetate frame. I've always gone square glasses as well, so this is a little bit more of a switch up for me. A little background on the brand Oliver Peoples. It was founded, I believe in LA by someone back in the 1980s. Really took a lot of inspiration from vintage frames from the earlier times of America. Very well known for a few iconic frames that different people have wearing during the movies. I personally found out all of her peoples through watching the movie American Psycho. Alan has mistaken me for this dickhead Marcus Halberstram. It seems logical because Marcus also works at PNP and in fact does the same exact thing I do. He also has a penchant for Valentino suits and Oliver Peoples glasses. Did a little more research on the brand. I thought they would fit with my aesthetic. I figured that splurge extra bit of money and get these ones. The particular frames I've gotten are the Finley Vintage frames, which are made out of this acetate construction, silver hardware. Overall, a nice quality pair of glasses. I'm really just used to having Ray-Bans in the past, and I thought this was a little bit more of a change of scenery with more of the circle frames. Do I look better? Do I look more Asian? Do I look like an Asian Harry Potter? But for now, looks pretty good. Oliver Peoples Finley Vintage Glasses. I guess I'll just keep these on because I don't have my contacts in and my vision's super bad. The second pickup I have is a pair of Ivan 7285 sunglasses. I believe this is the model 312. So I found out about these frames when I was actually getting the lenses for my Oliver Peoples prescription glasses. I went to one of the optometrists or eyewear stores and I was looking also for a pair of sunglasses. I really wanted a pair of Matsuda glasses at first to get that Tony Stark vibe, but I was talking around a little bit more with the person helping me out there and she mentioned this brand called Ivan. It's about the brand Ivan, it was a Japanese eyewear label founded in the 1980s. They actually do have a little bit of a connection with Oliver Peoples because Oliver Peoples were the first stockists to help stock these Ivan glasses in North America and help them gain global attention. It's a little bit of a connection that I totally didn't know about before purchasing these glasses. The brand itself, they're all handmade frames in Japan. Name 7285 is akin to the styles that the Ivan brand made between the years of 1972 and 1985. They have a matte black finish on the outside with a glossy black finish on the inside. The lenses are this pinkish, orangish color and they're somewhat transparent, so you can kind of see through them. And one of my favorite details of them is the titanium nose pads on the bridge, which are just a little bit higher quality. It's definitely a higher level of craftsmanship to these glasses than what you would get from a designer frame, a Saint Laurent, a Burberry frame, etc. And the price range is very comparable. I was really looking for a pair of sunglasses that, one pair of sunglasses, nice quality that I could wear, Basically wherever, I believe these will be the ones for me. The Ivan 7285 sunglasses. Yeah, I guess I'll end the video here. I haven't really decided where I wanna go, in which direction for this channel, or how frequently I wanna start posting. I am sorry I haven't posted in a long, long time. Honestly, I've just been a little lazy. I will be getting back into it on the clothing side of things, on the lifestyle sort of things. And I really appreciate all the support that I'm receiving on my last video. If you like what you're seeing, stay tuned, subscribe, and see you in a few weeks. Bye.